हेलो एवरी वन इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी डिस्कस असिमेट्रिक सिंथेसिस डेफिनेशन ऑफ असिमेट्रिक सिंथेसिस एंड एक्चुअल मीनिंग ऑफ असिमेट्रिक सिंथेसिस टुडे वी विल स्टार्ट द रिमेनिंग पार्ट ऑफ असिमेट्रिक सिंथेसिस दैट इज कायरल पुल दिस लेक्चर नंबर सेवन फर्स्ट वी फोकस ऑन कायरल पुल generally in exam the question ask write short notes on chiral pull or nature chiral centers chiral pull refers to collection of inensumerically pure molecules available from nature the chiral pull is collection of abundant inensu pure building blocks provided by nature used in synthesis the chiral pool are amino acids sugars and terpenes the use of chiral pool is illustrated by the synthesis of the anti cancer drug first the definition of chiral pool the collection of natural Inensumerically pure compound is called chiral pool. This is simple definition. Collection of natural inensumerically pure compound is called chiral pool. There are some principles involved in chiral pool. The principal groups of compound. in the chiral pool are number 1 here the following are the list of natural amino acids it is found in protein and they all have a simple side chain that are simple alkyl groups or the functionalized chain with plenty of versatile chemistry and is obtained by hydrolysis of reaction here alanine valanine phenylalanine proline serine aspartic acids glutamic acids these are the natural amino acids they are found in proteins and they having the simple side chain that are the simple alkyl groups and this obtained by hydrolysis of reaction here the simple derivatives of amino acids amino alcohols and hydroxy acids it's easy to reduce the amino acids to amino alcohol that means conversion of amino acids to the amino alcohol by using the borin then in which usually the generated in the reaction mixture by treating sodium borohydride or nabh4 sodium borohydride that means the nabh4 with concentrated sulfuric acids here simply reaction here the acid that means this co2h it will be converted into the alcohol and you know that the reduction of acids it will be converted into the alcohol that means conversion of this amino acids to the amino alcohols and we will use a number of naturally derived amino alcohol as starting material in this chapter okay now here this is the epidrine molecules and here an amino alcohol and here amino and here oh group therefore this an amino alcohol uh which a itself a useful member of the chiral pool and it's a, a plant extract readily available as and it is available in the either a diastereomer or the either enantiomers next it also the easy to make the hydroxy acids from this amino acids by diiodization digestion reaction here the best example is here 
this is the structure of yes leucine and here we have to convert yes leucine to the yes hydroxy acids here the simple reaction is the diazotization reaction here the first step is here yes leucine molecule on treatment with the NaNO2 in presence of HCl here simply this NH2 it will be converted into the N2 plus that means here simple the diazotization reaction in next steps there is inversion that means SN2 reaction here the hydroxyl groups that act opposite to this good living group and here we get the one intermediate that is alpha lactone here in second step here attack of water molecule again it is the opposite to this okay that means here first inversion and again second inversion here two times inversion therefore finally we will get the retention of configuration product that is yes hydroxy acids here the two configurational inversions are involved so that uh, the product alcohol retains the yes stereochemistry that means there is retention of configuration why this is the retention of configuration because here the starting material here NH2 group is front side and after completion of this reaction here hydroxyl group is again front side that means there is retention of configuration now some hydroxy acids are available from the natures and therefore the also the members of the chiral pool that means the both R and S lactic acid here the R and S both R and S lactic acids for example can be made by bacterial fermentation the mandelic acids here this is the mandelic acids malic acids and the tartaric acids they are extracted from the almonds apples and grapes respectively and they are used as the chiral pool because they are easily available next number third carbohydrates and their derivatives in carbohydrates and their derivatives uh, there are the great many simple carbohydrates available but one of the most useful is the d mannose here this is the structure of d mannose here in d mannose here reduction to the alcohol and we will get this is the d mannitol that means conversion of d mannose to the d mannitol by using the sodium borohydride that is nabh4 here we get the alcohol and we know that here aldehyde undergoes reduction we get the alcohol and this product is the C2 symmetric compound called the D mannitol and which can be converted uh, to a useful aldehyde by selective protection of as a beef acetal with acetone and Lewis acids that means acetone in presence of ZnCl2 here this protection of this diol and protection of these two diol these two groups and here we get the product and in next steps here there is cleavage of the remaining diol that means this diol will cleavage with the sodium per iodate NaIO4 cleavage of this diol here we get the protected form of the glyce yes glyceraldehyde that means here cleavage of this diol and here we get this this one after cleavage here we get the aldehyde and finally we get the yes glyceraldehydes it means here the simple reaction first conversion of d mannose to d mannitol by using nabh4 that means simple reduction aldehyde it will be converted into alcohol in second step there is protection by using acetone in presence of ZnCl2 we get the protected form of the product and next step on the cleavage of this remaining diol by using the sodium per iodate and we get the protected form of the yes glyceraldehyde that means the two equivalent of the 
protected form of the glyceraldehydes here in this chapter uh, we will show you a many and a varied ways in which the member of the chiral pool can be put to work in a symmetric synthesis but the most important the straight forward application is simply to spot that a target molecules has a close structural similarity and with say an amino acids this is a hot uh, the mori and it pain uh, made another important insects and it is named as pheromone insect pheromone named as the ipsinol this is most important this is ipsinol and here this left hand side of the molecule has the same structure as the side chain of the leucine molecule and here yes the chiral centers can also the come from the yes leucine molecules if you see the structure of these yes ipsinol here the structure similarly to with the leucine molecule that means this green color the structure it is similar with the leucine molecules that means here we have to synthesize the most important pheromone that is ipsinol and for the synthesis of this ipsinol we start from the yes hydroxy acids this is the structure of yes hydroxy acids here two functional groups one is alcohol and other is acids therefore here first step is the protection and here we need to protect this alcohol by using the dhp in presence of h plus that means the protection of alcohol after protection here we get the othp and we know the mechanism here oxygen here this bond will be shipped here now it become h plus and in next step the oxygen carrying this lone pair it will be attack here and we get the protected form of the alcohol in next step don't it meant with the alcohol here acid and here alcohol it means the esterification and we get the ester molecule and in next steps the ester it will be converted into the alcohol by using lithium aluminum hydride after that the next step is the introduction of the tosylate li good living group that means this oh it will convert into the ots it will tosyl chloride in presence of pyridine here oh is a bad living group it will be converted into the good living group now the next step is the deprotection and for the deprotection we use the acids here othp it will be converted into the oh now in next step base it will extract this proton it become o minus and here at attack will be take place and departure of this ots and we get the epoxides and this epoxide was opened by the grignard reagents to introduce the diene portion and give the target molecule that means our target molecule is the yes ipsinol here simply the opening of this epoxides and we get the yes ipsinol this might seems rather long winded and long weirdness can be a drawback of this synthesis starting from the chiral pool we have to show horn your your synthetic root into available starting material and another drawback of synthesis starting from the chiral pool is the fact that many natural compound are only available as the one enantiomers this is most important this most important drawback synthesis of starting from the chiral pool is the fact that the many natural compound are only available as the one enantiomer or 
if both enantiomers are available one is more expensive than the other and you will see the sum ignitious ways to solving this problem but we deal with the a very simple one in this section so friends never miss a video subscribe to my youtube channel okay thank you